product. So this is my face cream, perfect, amazing. All right, girls, so it's the next day and I've done all my shopping yesterday and I'm going to show you everything that I bought. Let me tell you something. Okay, let me tell you something, okay? I have spent a good coin in there. But yeah, I have a big bag from Primer. And girl, this store takes the best out of me. Like, I mean, the best, the best of my coins, the best of my bank account. But yeah, without any further ado, I will show you. And I mean, I will not show you things in order. I'm just going to, you know, show them. But yeah. So I bought this like shaving cream, you know, because for down there, I prefer shaving cream. It's much more easier and smoother the process for me, you know. And the afterwards, I don't get bumps. I don't get like. Uh, marks I don't get anything so this works and because I like to use this I decided to buy one that is like a, it says zero percent of microplastics you know which is very good and I think it should be like 90% natural ingredients okay 85 85 percent of natural origin which is good you know because like this is a chemical process you know because it's basically burns the hair you know so it has clean and has natural the best you know so I got this one oh then bro I'm so excited to buy this this is like so tricky because I like there was like another serum exactly the same when I tell you that it was exactly the same it was exactly the same but the price was like three times more expensive you know and like I went to the lady you know from the store and I asked them listen what's the difference okay because from what I see the ingredients are the same you know so What's the difference? And I mean, she told me that everything works the same. And that's, uh, usually I, I use like products from this brand and I really like them, you know? And basically she told me that Rave Well is like a brand that is like a dupe for expensive brands, you know? So everything is the same. Ingredients and what they do. And listen, I took a picture. I will show you. I took a picture from this serum to the other one. Because I mean, the packaging is the same. I mean. They were shameless, they copied, you know, everything. And I was like, what the hell is going on? This is the one that I bought, and this is the one, like the bread one. I will show the picture, baby, it's the same. Girl, girl, it's the same. And I was like, is it like really worth it to buy this one or this one? And she was like, you know, everything is the same. The bread is really good, it's just a tube. That's why it's like, wait less expensive and if you never try it I recommend you to try the less expensive you know like I recommend to try the dupe because then you will see if you like it if it works for your skin and then if you want you can invest in like a um, expensive brand but girl if this works for me it works for me okay yeah I told you I don't believe in like expensive brands there's some things that yes but, like in general especially nowadays it's like you have a lot of products that do exactly the same, that have exactly the same ingredients, but you are just paying the brand, so yeah. Then I bought this SPF with the highest, you know, Q, QVA, you know, um, protection because the sun, we gotta protect the skin, it's going to prevent having wrinkles, you know. All right, so then I bought this body gel because I was needing one, you know, my, my boyfriend likes one scent, I like another scent, so I bought this one for me. And this, oh, I wish you could. This one has been one of my favorites, like since I was, you know, younger. Because I saw my parents use this one, and I fell in love with the scent. And it's really good. Oh, the way it feels on the skin, the scent, everything is perfect. So I bought this one. Then I bought this hand cream, you know, because I was needing one. Mine was over. I'm a flight attendant. I need the hand cream so much because the air of the airplane like makes my skin. The hand makes my hands super dry and it's insane. And so I bought this one with argan oil because argan oil is very good, you know, for hydrating hair, skin, you know, so I just bought this one. 
Then I got my face cream, you know, this provides hydration and uh, I've been using this cream since last year and my face loves it, you know, so far so good. So I was like, oh, I would like to try, you know, what's the name? I would like to try the CeraVe brand, but again, if it's not broken, don't fix it, you know? And I actually told this to the lady, I was like, do you think I should try it? She was like, if it works for you, just works for you. And I love that she was giving like her honest opinion, you know, and she understands the subject, you know, which is very nice because in the shop they have like people like for each section because I had some doubts about my hair and the products and she was like, well, listen, I'm more of the skincare girl, you know, I studied for this. He is more of the hair department, so you ask him, you know, and she was very honest. She was not trying to sell me the most expensive stuff because she saw that I was willing to buy, you know, she was like, listen, if it works for you, just keep going, you know? So yeah, this is the cream, you know, I can show you. It's almost over. It's basically over. So I bought a new one. Amazing. I love this cream so much. Okay, this is very basic. I bought a black eye pencil because I needed one. Oh, I bought like a mouthwash, you know. I've been having mixed feelings about my mouthwashes because uh, the, my dentist told me that we should buy like very good ones, you know, like the ones from the pharmacy. I bought this one just to make my breath smell good, you know, that's the main purpose. And it has 0% of alcohol, which is good, you know. All right, then I bought my feminine gel, you know, for down there. This is the one that I've used like always. Again, I'm always telling about this one that I really like, but that I buy in pharmacies, but not every pharmacy has. I actually need to see if I can buy like online, maybe on Amazon or stuff like that. But yeah, this is one of my go-to, you know, it's nice. Uh, it lasts me, it lasts me like, it lasts, it lasts, it lasts. It lasts a long time, you know, it doesn't have any fragrance, which is very good. And it's like 94% of origin ingredients, you know, which that's what we like because I have very sensitive skin everywhere. So everything needs to be super clean. If it's scent free, the best. Then I bought my shampoo for the hair, you know. This is the one that I usually wear and because my hair is like super healthy actually, which is very good. I was like, should I try a new shampoo? And then the guy, he was like, girl, what's your goal? And I said, oh, my hair is like dry, you know, it's prone to be dry. So I like always, I always search for nutrition. And he's like, okay, so if you wear this and it works, just keep going because avocado is actually known to be very hydrating for the hair, you know? So just keep going, don't change. So I didn't change. I have in the scent of this, I love it, love it, love it, love it. And it does keep my hair super hydrated. So even when I do like my hair wash, now I've been shampooing twice because I've been suffering a bit of dandruff. I don't know if it's the season, I don't know. But so I have some dandruff, so I bought like an expensive shampoo to treat that. And then because it rips all the oils, I shampoo again with this to restore the nutrition, you know, so. Yeah. And I bought this intense moisturizing mask for my hair and I'm super curious about this because this is a dupe, as you can tell, this is a dupe of Olaplex, which is like trending so much Olaplex now. And I've been wanting to buy the products, you know, of Olaplex to try to see if they were for me because I've been seeing like a lot of black girls, you know, wearing that for their hair and their hair is just thriving, you know. So I wanted to try, but the brand is expensive. Huh? And this is a dupe, it was like, so I had like Olaplex here and then Beauty, Beauty Drops. And the name, the name of this is like Beauty Plex number eight. So this is the dupe of number eight of Olaplex, you know. And uh, the guy was explaining to me that a lot of clients like this, some clients like this way better than the Olaplex, you know. And I'm like, what? He was like, it does the same thing, you know. So if you want to try, I recommend you to try this one, which is like less expensive, of course. And if it works for you, works for you. It's a nice scent. And then he's like, if you need to travel, you know, this is like 100 milliliters, so it's good. I'm just a bit concerned that I might <laughs> run this over like very quickly because, you know, I have a lot of hair. So, yeah, but it's okay. As long as it's good, because I need a new mask, because the mask that I like to use for my hair, I have two, my top two, which are, my top one was the Rosemary from Mayel, but you know, we know that it's no good anymore. Even though I still use products from Mayel, but not the Rosemary line. I think the Rosemary 
the rosemary line is the one that was affected so i don't use that anymore because i saw the difference between the oil and the mask especially the hair mask that's uh, the product that i saw the most difference you know and i was like eee no thank you but yeah so i will do like a shower routine to show you all of these products and how they work especially this i'm so curious to see how this works yeah mm. oh my god <laughs> also this i bought this as well this oil i don't know i love oils for my hair mm. i prefer oils for the hair than for the skin but for the hair Girl. This is like the Hola Plex tube as well, and I'm like, girl. It's like the Beauty Plex Bond, Bond Repair Oil Number Seven. So yeah, it was like everybody loves this. He tried it. He said it's very good because it's like lightweight, you know. So it works wonders, and it's exactly the same as Hola Plex, but it's less expensive. That's it, and I love that for the girlies that are expensive but want to, you know, save some coin. This is. Ah, this is so good. Okay, we still have a few things to see. My gosh. All right, so from Essence, I bought this liquid blush because my blush was over. And I tried this blush a little bit on the start and I like it because I like a pinkish, you know, cheek. Not too pink and like for my skin color, like my tone, this is nice. And then I bought this one as well. It's like the color looks the same, you know. So I bought the powder one, you know, just to set the blush. So I'm super excited to do my makeup and try this one. Oh my gosh. Then I bought a brow former, you know, because that's how I do my brows. I like to shave the, you know, the hairs that are out of place. I have, you know, to be honest, I have really good brows because like the shape is really nice. So basically all that I do once a week, you know, is to shave the hair the hairs that are out of place and I only shave them like once a week because I don't want to create a halopecia. You know how like the halopecia when you just rip your hair every day and then you create halopecia, there's like a proper name and then your hair won't grow anymore like the braids, if you wear braids and they are too tight or like tight, like you know hairstyles like this but they are too tight and you can feel your hair pulling off that's when you create alopecia. you know the problem is not wearing the hairstyles, the problem is when it's super tight and it just stretches and pulls your hair so yeah i've been very mindful of that all right then i bought this yogurt combo this is so good the scent i love it i love a fresh scent you know for me this is a fresh scent i love like light scents you know fresh scents like flower scents depending on the flowers the rose is my favorite so yeah, I love this scent. It has been working like wonders for me. I was having some trouble with the other ones. If you watch my feminine hygiene tips and must-haves, then you know that I was having a little trouble with the other ones. And this one is so good. It's been working like amazing. I love it. I mean love with this. All right, so makeup-wise still, I bought this lash primer because lately I've been using fake lashes, you know, I put them and then at the end of the day I take them off because I like to be able to take everything off, the makeup, the lashes, the everything, you know? And um, the last two days I've been wearing, I've been doing my makeup without the lashes and I, like for example, previously the clips, you saw me without the lashes and I love it. I love the look. I just need, and I have, think I have good eyelashes. I don't, they are not super long, but I think they're good. And that's this thing that I always notice that when I, depending on the fake eyelashes, of course, but there's some eyelashes that most of them, they take uh, like the shape of my eyes away, you know? And I have very almond, very almond, very caddish eye. And I love, I love that. So I just want to, how do I say, compliment that, not change, you know? So that's why when I wear fake eyelashes, like um, I just wear like in the outer corner of the eyes to make the eyes more, you know? So yeah, but like, I mean, for the day to day, I think this is fine. So before applying the mascara, I'm going to apply the, I'm going to apply, to apply the lash primer. Then I bought a brown, uh, a brown eye pencil because I actually did my eyeliner with the shadow, with eye, eye shadow. I actually do my eyeliner with eyeshadow and then I apply the, um, the pencil over, you know? It gives a more subtle and sexy eyeliner. Then this is my go-to mascara. It's from Essence as well. Girl, this is so good. The best 
the best, the best mascara ever, like I swear. And then I bought this eyebrow, eyebrow? Yeah, this eyebrow gel because I, I still have one and it's good because it's very firm. It fixes my eyebrows very well. But the thing is, it makes like, it leaves a white cast when the brow is dry, you know? And I don't like that. I don't like that, of course. Sometimes I'm in work and I go to the toilet to take it, and it's annoying. And I've used this one before, and it doesn't leave the white cast. The thing is, it's not as firm as the other ones that I've been using, but I'd rather that than to have a white cast on my eyebrows. No, thank you. Mm -mm. And for last, I bought this nail polish for autumn because this is very autumn, and it's like a deep red, and I think it looks so good on the hands, you know, and for autumn, it's very complimentary for the uh, for the season, so I bought it. Yeah, then, because I have like a big bill, you know, I want to love stuff, girl. Um, they gave me this um, perfume, you know, tester from YSL. I'm super excited to try this. And then they gave me this La Roche Posay. Oh my God. I've been talking about tubes and then they give me La Roche. But yeah, <laughs> they gave me this La Roche Posay gel, you know, face wash. So if I like it, and this is so good for travel, I'm going to travel in a month and a half more or less. So I think I will save this for the travel. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is everything that I bought for my family and hygiene. I will do a video like a shower routine to show everything how I use them and how it works. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.